Satnam. Uh, I'm just going to talk a little bit about the fourth part of the Subhad Kriya. I like to call it link your heart space with your will. So you want to take your heart and empower it with your will. And at the same time, you're clearing all the blocks that might stop you from projecting your will or your heart into this world. There's so many reasons why we will shut ourselves down and block ourselves and, you know, become not, not a true version of ourselves to display to this planet. It's our blessing on this earth to completely be ourselves here, to move in, call this place home, call this body my body, live here, unpack our bags, and be alive here. When you start displaying your true self to the world, it will start to mold into a place that you want to live. It's not the other way around. You know, we spend all of our time molding ourselves to try to fit into the world that exists and then wonder why we're not comfortable here. So this is kind of about that, where we chant Had Hare Hari Wa He Guru. Yogi Bhajan says those are the seven sounds of the heart. Had Hare Hari Wa He Guru. So we're chanting from the heart. It's our prosperity chant and we're taking our hands up and down, moving them. The left hand is four inches in front of the heart center, the right hand is four inches in front of that. And we just go up and down. I like to go from the throat to the navel, though it's not exactly specified in the Kriya. The eye gaze isn't really specified, though I like to keep my eyes closed. And then the speed isn't really specified, the breathing isn't really specified. So we're just moving the hands up and down, it doesn't really specify if the fingers are spaced or closed. So just do what feels right. What always has felt right to me is the fingers are closed, moving up and down from the throat to the navel. While I chant, Had Hare Hari Wa He Guru. Had Hare Hari Wa He Guru. And really chant it and let yourself say it. You want to have this power from the navel as you're activating this whole thing. And that's the chanting, Had Hare Hari Wa He Guru. The navel is your power, it's your will. You want to use this to project this force, empower your practice. Had Hare Hari Wa He Guru. And then we switch. The navel still bounces. And then you whistle. Now we're done, I like to take the hands and place them on the heart center. Or you can just take them down or you can prepare for the next exercise, but I like to take my hands on the heart because I feel like we worked up such an incredible energy here. It's just like, take a moment and just be with it. So some things to think about during that Kriya. What are my elbows doing? I'm not moving my elbows, right? I'm moving my hands. My hands are bouncing up and down. My elbows are staying still. It's not this. It's not moving from the shoulders. It's just bouncing the hands up and down. What are my hands doing, you know? Do you make sure that they're going up to the throat and down to the navel? I notice some people, they're like, you know, you want to make sure you get it big enough, but you don't want to be out of control either. And the speed is up to you too. I go fast just because fast feels good for me, but it could be slower. It could be faster. You know, it just depends on the mood that you're in and really tune into it. You know, we already tuned in. Let your higher self tell you what is right for you right now. All right, well, I hope that answers some of your questions about the fourth meditation in Subha Kriya. If you have any more questions, please leave a comment below, and I'll be happy to answer it. And if I get enough of the same question, I might make another video, add something. So I hope that you enjoy your practice, and thank you so much for watching. Satnam.